Hey guys, Miss Warren here. Today I'm going to talk to y'all about creating lettering or graffiti style letters. Um, generally, I have my students at the beginning of the year do a project on the outside of their portfolio or sketchbook, identifying their stuff with their name. So um, at your tables, I'm going to have some handouts. I just kind of wanted to show y'all the handouts in this video, and then I'm going to show y'all some demonstration. So when creating three-dimensional letters, you see how the, the letters down here um, have a lot more weight and get a lot more attention than just writing regular letters up there. Now, from taking your letters from two-dimensional, these just skinny lines, th to three-dimensional, um, just have a few basic steps, especially for beginners. I would write your letters regularly, then I would go around the letters, then I would erase your regular letters on the inside. And if you wanted to add some extra decoration to the outside, that's what I would go with. Um, this will be at your table for reference. I'm gonna look at a few other things. We'll kind of make your letters pop. Um, after drawing your letters, you can add some style to the outside. This one's called the halo, just like the a halo wraps around an angel's head. The halo wraps around your letters. Uh, drips, you start with the halo and then you make the bottom drippy. Or you could do something like bubbles. Instead of drips, you do a bunch of kind of squiggly, circly shapes around the edges. Now you can go even further and you can make your letters three dimensional. You see, you draw your regular letters, you outline them to make block or bubble letters, then you extend the corners color in the shadows, then you can add the halo and the drip if you want to. So here's kind of putting it all together, a bunch of different options. Um, you know, start with sticks, do your outline, erase the sticks, add extra decoration, uh, block letters, the edges are straight and clean, bubble letters, the edges are rounded, and crazy letters, you can think about leaning, stretching, and breaking up the pieces as long as the letters are still legible or readable. Then you can emphasize your name with a cloud or bubbles, an explosion, uh, blobs, splatters, flames, sunbursts. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do an example so y'all can see it more step by step. I'm gonna start with the letters art for art here. So I'm gonna just write them regular. A, R, T. So I do this um, in pencil. You wanna draw it light till you get it right. And you see how sketchy these lines are? It's okay if they're kind of sketchy because we're gonna er erase them anyway. Really what I'm doing here is plotting out the size and the placement for the letters so that I make sure that they fit in my space. Now I'm going to make them block or bubble letters. Um, here, I think I'm gonna start with uh, block letters. So wherever the letters end, I'm gonna put straight lines down and then it kind of ends in a triangle up here. I'm gonna put a straight line up here and then I'm gonna connect the straight lines at the top and the bottom with a line that is parallel or going the same direction as the side of the A. Now, sometimes having a ruler helps with this. Sometimes you can freehand it. My lines are not perfectly straight when I freehand them but you can see here that I've got the outline. Now, this line in the middle, I'm gonna draw some lines parallel to it on either side. And then I'm going to draw a line parallel to the original kind of connecting the corners. Then I'll erase the parts I don't wanna keep and darken the parts I do want to keep. So if you want to use a ruler to make sure those edges are straight, 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 you can. Okay, so for the R one, I think I'm going to do bubble letters since you've seen how to do block letters with a straighter line. So here's my R. So I'm gonna go around the edges and just make it fat. I'm gonna curve around the edge here. 
I'm gonna curve around the edge here. Instead of making a sharp angle, when I change directions for this one, I'm gonna curve, go around it and make it fat. And then I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger here and curve. And then I'm gonna draw a circle. Now, if I wanted this to look really bubbly instead of a circle, I might make it look like it's squished. So I would do a scoop, scoop, and scoop in. So you could do it a circle or you could make it more scooped like that. Now I'm gonna erase the inside lines that I don't need anymore. Now this last one, the T, I'm gonna add some like funky shapes to it. So maybe instead of just doing a regular flat line for the end of the T, maybe I'll scoop it. And then I'm gonna go mostly parallel to this, but maybe what if I lean and scoop this as well? Kind of drawing shapes around that shape of the T, but changing it. Maybe on the end, I'm gonna go this way, and maybe I'll draw like an arrow on the end, if I, especially if I want it to point something out. And maybe I'll just lean this end and draw a little extra shape, kind of getting smaller and smaller to emphasize and repeat that. So this one's kind of like a funky shape, and I'm gonna erase the leftover line on the inside. So you have three variations of making your uh, letters more dimensional, take up more space, have a little more pop to them. Now there's a few other things you can do to these to kind of really make them pop. One of those things that you can do is to make your letters three-dimensional. Um, I'll go ahead and let y'all practice this for now and I will get back to three-dimensional letters in the next video.